The AGAF100 is a uh, large imager camera that Panasonic designed in response to our customers wishing to have a shallow depth of field in their production camera. So in the design phase of this camera, we've, we've had a list of things that we felt the camera must have. Number one, of course, was the shallow depth of field. Number two, neutral density filters, absolutely. Um, uncompressed audio, two channels, beautiful. Waveform monitors, vector scopes, zebras, so that somebody can tell what it is that they're shooting. Uh, and interchangeable lenses. Some of the liabilities that are in the DSLR have been designed out of the AG AF100. Starting with an optical low pass filter, it gets us past the more and aliasing that happen within the body of the DSLR. Once we get past that, we have the ability to have high def output during record so you can monitor while you're recording in high definition and you can actually tell what you're shooting at the time of record. You've got confidence throughout the entire recording process. Looking at what people were doing with DSLRs, we said, what if we just deliver a camera that does all of those things and a video guy is going to feel right at home with it? The imager on the AF100 is a four-thirds imager. It means that virtually any lens can go onto it. It has a, a nice shallow depth of field to it because it is a large imager. And it has nice low light performance on it. And it's easy to control um, because we have neutral densities just behind the lenses. And so it's that standard in the camera. Once you've established uh, your shallow depth of field, and you find that your image is still running a little bit hot, you don't need to change your shutter speed, you don't need to change your iris setting, all you do is flip in a neutral density. The AF100 offers uh, variable frame rates in 1080p uh, between uh, 12 frames per second to 60 frames per second in 20 steps. Some of the key ones that are in that range are like 48 frames, so it, sometimes 60 is too slow, 48 is a nice slow-mo effect without it being too slow. Or 22. 22 adds a nice uh, fast motion to uh, action sequences it makes your karate shots really take impact. And those frame rates are not in our competitors' cameras. With the AF100 and having two 64 gig cards in the slots, you're going to be able to record in its best mode, the PH mode, for 12 hours. That's a long time. 12 hours. You're not going to have this 12 minute limit that you get on the DSLRs. The AF100 has all the professional connections that you could need. Uh, starting with the uh, HDSDI, which is 8 bit 422, um, mounted to a BNC connection, which is a professional standard connection. It stays connected once you've got it. And finishing with a standard array of XLR connections, giving you balanced audio inputs and phantom power if you need it. Plus, the AF100 has a built-in microphone, so you can use it to collect reference audio, uh, like you were doing a music video, or uh, NAT sound. Um, real important. For focusing, the AF100 comes with both an LCD and a viewfinder, giving the shooter the opportunity to use whichever tool is appropriate for the application. Without the risk of leaving the viewfinder tube behind, which is totally possible with the Sony FS100. When people ask me about how the AF100 compares to the Sony FS100, I basically say, you know, both cameras do shallow depth of field equally well. But from that point forward, they couldn't be more dissimilar. Uh, it appears that the FS100 is uh, an upgrade to uh, a DSLR and it's able to record uh, good quality video. Um, the AF100 on the other hand with about 50 additional features that are not included in the FS100 it was designed as a professional video camera 
for professionals that are trying to make money in this business. When it comes to support, Panasonic thoroughly stands behind the AF100 with a solid three-year warranty, which is superior to the competition. The AF100 is your next generation go-to camera, which costs less, yet delivers so much more.